All right. Good morning, Facebook. Good morning, Abby and Alyssa again in the morning today. Today, while we're waiting for everyone to join, just a quick little tip. Yeah. I have a bench here today. If you have a bench, a chair, a stool, an ottoman, or a couch, have that handy today. If you don't, Alyssa's going to show the exercises, a couple of them with all the equipment. Yes. Um, we're doing a little bit like a Tabata style. But we're going to make it just a tad harder. <laughs> a little bit longer work. It's Saturday. Yep, Saturday. The workout might be a little bit more intense today, a little longer. Yep. So follow along with us. Um, Alyssa's going to get us going on a little warm up here yeah. shortly. Yeah. Tell us where you're at. Yeah, good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Hope everyone gets the chance to, maybe it's going to be a nice day to get outside today. But um, when you're hopping on here, let us know where you're joining from. You can start warming up like this. Okay, we're going to wait just a little bit. Um, if you did just join, also grab a bench, a chair, maybe a couch. Maybe, when, maybe you aren't near a couch or something. When we do that exercise, you can go off camera, um, go use it. Like I said, I'll show the modification still, so if you don't have it. That's fine, but I think if everyone's got an internet connection, you're going to have a couch. Hi, Jen. Hi. Hi, Casey. Hi, Heidi. You guys ready to rock? We're going to wait just a couple minutes since there's only a few people on right now. Show us your guns. If the sun can't be out, at least let's have the guns be out. <laughs> I think the sun might be out though. It looks, well, it's a little, it's, it's hit and rest here. It's a little cloudy. So Tabata today. Hi, Brandy. Pretty much 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. We've got a lot to cover. It's going to be a really good workout. Um, do what you can. We'll have modifications for everything. Work hard, right? If you can't do something, that's okay. Don't let it get to you. Just Move on, do the modification, uh, have the motivation for uh, working towards that. Something, if you can't do a push up from your toes, work towards that, right? Maybe in a couple weeks, you start to get a glimpse of that, you can do it. LT is watching. All right. Good morning, LT. Okay, let's go, let's start the warm up. Let's start the warm up. Okay, we're gonna do 20 seconds of each of these exercises here. I got the timer. You need to just follow along with us, okay? Yeah. The first one's just gonna be a simple little knee pull, okay? So let's begin, Melissa. Yeah, I already started the timer. Okay, I right already started. Let us know where you're at, take pictures. We wanna see your gun pictures today. Hopefully I don't get in trouble for saying that. <laughs> Okay, there's 25 seconds, we'll switch it up. Whoops, okay. I went a little long. A little bit of a twist here. It's like you're putting something on the shelf, but your feet are doing something similar to a jumping jack. Alyssa's got the modification if you can't jump. Like I said, the workout's gonna be a little bit longer today. It's Saturday, we have more time to devote to ourselves. Maybe. Nice. If not, right, put that in your maybe to-do list on your calendar. Get a little more me time. I know it's easier said than done, but it can be done. And we'll switch. My bad. Okay. Was. We're just going to go lateral lunge, kick. Let's go all right side. Yep. Alyssa forgot the timer. <laughs> How about in the comments today? Sorry. Everyone that's joining. Let's comment one thing we're grateful for today. It's always a good way to start your day. Oh, I like that. Be thankful. I know it's been a little struggle. Kids are at home. Patients are getting a little slim. Switch. <laughs> Left side. Here we go. See, these shouldn't be painful. Just like a good stretch. Sink into that lateral lunge. This should be hard, but your heart rate should be starting to come up. Blood is flowing. Preparing the body for activity. Five seconds, and we got walkouts. And switch. Okay, so we're just gonna hinge from the hips. Bend those knees a little bit, walk all the way down, and come back up. Feel those hamstrings. For sure, we'll do this one for a little bit longer. If you're like me, you're kind of sore from the week. 
This is good. Stretch it all. Bring that leg up. Go ahead and here and get that foot to the other side. There we go. Back up. Let's do that again. Okay. Bring those legs up. Try and get into that lunge. If you tuned in to Bridget's yoga yesterday, she did a lot of bringing that foot up to your hand and lifting. Right? Mobility is a big challenge. Let's do two more here. I just doubled the time, right? That's the beauty of having the timer. <laughs> no, I'll be nice. Okay, the last one. She will not. <laughs> I'm going to want to be nice later in the workout. Work hard, do what you can, okay? There we go. Should we go back to the beginning? Let's go one more round, those knee pulls. These aren't for speed, you're just pulling that hip flexor up, getting a good stretch, core is engaging. Right, don't exactly follow along on my one side. My leg doesn't like to bend too much there, so I look a little goofy. So again, today, if there's anything you can do, again, I'll also show the modifications. Yeah. If, you, if you can't do that, a plank, a wall sit, yep. a push-up is always a good modification or a body weight squat just anything that doesn't bug you but keep your body moving absolutely yep and please if you have concerns don't be afraid send us a message all right put it right in the comments we'll be checking them and switch Right size. Again, if anyone's looking for a little bit more detailed or more weight-oriented workouts at home, we are going to be offering, we'll call it an in-home workout, but if you show us what you have, we can design a program for you specifically to meet your goals. So reach out to us about that if you're interested in something like that. For sure. Our six-week wellness challenge is free this time. It starts on Monday. It's not too late to join. Good, we switched. So reach out about that. Even if you want to comment below, Lisa and I will check out those comments. It's gonna be good. Six weeks, learn how to eat better, share some recipes, right? Maybe if you don't have a lot of time to devote yep. to your nutrition, it's really good for that. If you nutrient timing, yeah. you know, when we eat things is Switch. super important. We'll go walkouts now. Do the foot every time. Yeah. See, now we're warmed up a little. We can speed it up. Bring up that intensity. Yeah, nutrient timing, right? It's a little goofy right now. We're probably not quite as used to being at home. I'm sure being that we're, maybe, is it coming up on week four? Yeah. Probably, maybe, already had some bad habits go on. And we're maybe coming back around to making them good habits. Maybe not. Maybe you've developed some habits. I wouldn't say good or bad, but maybe habits that just don't serve you or work for you. Last one. Yes. <laughs> Melissa forgot I'm doing this. No, I knew it was the last one. Okay, hey, grab some water. We're going to explain. Yeah. I'm going to check in here. Hi, Mark. Hi, Sarah. Morning, ladies, says LT. Sarah Bugby. Hi, Sarah. Sarah Tungsa. Sarah, Sarah. Okay. So, this is where you will need your bench, stool, couch, ottoman. If you don't have any equipment, totally fine. This is going to show you the other one. Yep. So, I have a bench here. I'm going to go. We're going to do step ups, okay? And if this hurts, do what Alyssa does. I'm going to go right leg up on the bench. We're just going to drive that other knee, okay? We're going to go 30 seconds on the right, and then we're going to go shoulders across that bench, arms out, relax that neck, we're just going to drop and squeeze our butt at the top as high as we can, a hip drop. And I'll be doing a bridge on the floor. Yep. Nice. Real quick, like so. Yep, and I'll give you that ladder would be okay. Those are our two exercises. We're going to go four rounds through this because we're going to alternate legs and the step ups. Yeah? All right, we have. Make sure you can see that. We have 30 seconds on, 15 off. We are going for those step ups. 
in three, two, one, hit it. Okay. I have one knee that's better than the other, so I'm just gonna have a nice controlled motion. You can speed these up if you want a little more cardio. Be safe. For me, you can get more depth, right? If your body allows that, you get a little lower, kind of go into that almost lateral lunge to push your hips back. Five seconds. Pick that up and just barely tap that toe. Get that quad rest. Right. 15 rest. So we're going 30 seconds on, 15 rest. Half rest to work ratio. Yeah, so short intervals, right? We want to really give it all we got on those work portions. We're going in three, two, one. Here we go. Drop those hips, that last push at the top. Let those glutes kick in, okay? As high as you can. If you have weights at home, you can put them on your stomach. Make it a little harder. We're halfway here. You feel those glutes, those hamstrings, and maybe that low back a little bit. Core is nice and tight. Engage, we've got five seconds. Two, one, rest. Fifteen. Now we're gonna right and left leg. Let me just make sure you guys can see us. Yeah. How far yep. over can I go? Right. Yeah, I would come in just a little bit. There you go. All right, we're going in three, two, one. Left leg stepping up. Let's go. I'm just tapping that toe. Again, those step ups, you can slow them down. I'm going for a little more cardio. And I'm pushing my hips back here, getting my weight into that glute, butt cheek. Exploding up. Here we go, five seconds. Let's get it. Bring and switch. Good. Yes. Good. Again, remember, tell us something you're grateful for in the comments today. We like to have a little engagement on each workout. What's something you're grateful for, Abby? Oh, a lot of things. I'm going to think about mine for just a minute. Yeah, okay, ready, set, go. As always, I'm grateful to be able to move my body. Yes. It's a privilege, not a punishment. Nice. Right? Nice. I'm grateful that I can still slightly run with a lot of knee trauma. Alyssa, what are you grateful for? I am grateful for a lot of, just like what you said, being able to move my body uh, and rest. I'm grateful these days for adopting an open mind and some competitiveness. <laughs> grateful for Abby. She's pushing me big time. My knee's gotten a lot better since coming here. All right, let's get it. Right leg and we'll step up. Here we go. Again, I'm going to get that little lateral view here so you can see I'm pushing my hips back. If you can't do that, just stand up tall and get some hip flexion here. Drive that knee across your body. So I'm going to slow down my step ups. I'm going to control on the way down. That quad really has to engage. Control your weight. Catch the lift is what we can call that. Rest. Good. I felt that a lot more slowing down. I love it. Love it. So we're going to last round or four rounds. Four no. rounds. So this is end of three. Yeah. Yeah. I've been right twice. I better think. <laughs> Ready, Ready, set, go. You got, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Those hips really high. Glute engagement and activation is super crucial. If you have low back pain, if you have knee pain, oftentimes it's because those glutes are shut off. We are going to do a glute activation um, series next week sometime. I don't know. Tell you how to get those glutes fired up. Does that be a nice booty, Abby? Nice booty, nice booty. And rest. We got so to prepare for that good activation, those mini little loop bands would be something to grab on the Amazon or yes. I don't know if I have them. Again on these step ups, left leg up. Let's go slow it down, control it on the way down. Okay. I'll start out fast and then I'll slow them down. And here we go. Just giving you 
that ladder of you to show that I am hinging at my hips or pushing my butt back here on this modification. Slow it down, bring that brain to your muscles, right? What are we feeling? What are we working? 10 seconds. More of a burn when we slow down those movements, time under tension. Rest! You made it. Hip drops. Just kidding. <laughs> you don't want to forget these. This is my client's favorite. <laughs> we got a lot of breathing here. Seems like a lot. Ready, set. Go. Let's go up on your heels. Yeah, if you're on the ground. Same here. Dig mm -hmm. those heels in. If you can't drop your hips this low, totally fine. But that really, that last little push at the top is super important. Right? I'm also, that core is nice and tight, so when I hit the floor, my low back is pretty flat. Right? I'm bracing. Say someone was about to drop a bowling ball on my belly and bounce right off. Also, maybe comment, do you guys have low back pain? Do you have knee pain? Give us more of an idea how many people that would be interested in that glute activation. Good. Awesome. Water. We're done with that equipment for now. Sweet. Water. Are you going to leave it again today? Oh boy. The next circuit, this is going to make me look ridiculous. So get ready. Hi, Jade. Hi, Amanda. No way. I had to think of some hard exercises here. Okay, go ahead and down. So two, two moves here. We're gonna call them an alligator and a worm. I will do the modification. Alligator is gonna be, we're offsetting our hands here. Okay, so we're up in that push-up position. You show this way, maybe. I'm gonna drive my knee to my elbow, switch hands. That knee to elbow. The knee goes to the hand that's near, closer to the center of your body. Got it. A little bit of a staggered step. If you're following with me, okay, I want you to hold in a bear crawl. Yep, for as long as you can. For that, yeah, let's try for that 30 seconds. I'll coach you through that some more. Next one is the worm. Oh, push up position. Yep, go for it, Dad. So we're gonna drop back. Right, Melissa? Yep. We're going to drop those knees and we're going to get those floor up. I'm going to bring my hands a little closer under my shoulders. You're not resting here. So you're kind of going up into a little bit of a pike, a little bit. More of a flat back tabletop. Try to drop those elbows. Great. Yep. For Too me much here. rest. Bear crawl. All right, let's get it. We're 30 gonna go seconds. Three rounds of 30 15. Ready, set. Here we go. Okay, I'm holding in a bear crawl. Knees are in tight. If I had some coffee on my low back, it wouldn't be spilling. Coffee is important to me. <laughs> We're halfway already. How is that one? It's awesome. I feel my shoulders firing up a little bit. My knees are not touching the floor here. Strong in the shoulders, keeping those shoulder blades separated. Screwing my hands in. Rest. Good. Just 15, and then we go into those worms, as Alyssa calls them. <laughs> right, you're getting shorter and longer. Five seconds here. If you're following along with me, okay, we're going to go from the knees, we're going to go up, down, plank, ready, go. Or we can even go onto your hands, elbows. We'll do that. Hands, elbows. So for me, the advanced version, it's almost like when I come up, I'm rock, not rocking, but I'm pushing my shoulders and body over my hands, and then I'm dropping down. So I'm staying flat in that back. My butt's not way up in the air. This is awesome, Melissa. Two, one, rest. Hey, I just want, if you can't follow along at home with me on that one either, bring it back. Just tap those hands. Okay, some people are where in a plank, working that core, working those shoulders. Yep. Let's go back to the first one. I mean, my alligator. Bear crawl hold. This is gonna burn. Ready? Go. Even for these, you can slow them down, right? Alligators most of the time move slow until they're about to attack. <laughs> but engage that core. 
squeeze, okay? You're not just moving your hands, you're squeezing your core, pulling those legs to your elbow. I literally got scared for a second there. <laughs> Almost there. Rest, okay, 15 seconds. Always finish the rep you're on. Always, yep. Can you guys hear us? Can you see us? Let us know if you can. Follow along with Abby, I challenge you here. If you can't, we're still moving. Ready, set, and go. I'm doing a hand tap, just trying to keep my hips very still. Step up from that hand tap, shoulder tap. My knees aren't touching, they're just hovering over the ground here. If they tap it a little bit, that's okay. That range of motion is super important. Rest. Good job. Ooh, one more round. One more round. I'm just going to check the comments nice to make sure you can hear us. Stephanie says looks good, ladies. Katie well, said, Casey says it's her favorite. Sweet. All right, let's get after it. Ready, set, go. Big crawl, hold, fall on me. Alligator, Abby. Don't be scared. <laughs> My shoulders feel like they're working. So I've got a pretty neutral spine here. All right, fairly flat back. Feeling that in the quad, shoulders. Here we go, here we go. Um, you got it here, you got it. Keep working, keep working. Three, two, one, rest. 15 up. I personally love the time exercise, especially when you're doing a lot of people at once. It's hard to keep everyone at the same pace if we do reps. Ready, set, last one. Let's get it here, let's get it. I'll walk you through a little progression. Hand taps, or maybe you just gotta hold the plank here. It's totally fine, high plank. You wanna step that up, hand taps. You wanna step that up, shoulder taps. If you wanna go even further from there, you can go up, down, or down, up. We got it, way to work, God, way to work. It's good. Last one here, push yourself a little bit, get uncomfortable. And rest. Good, water. We're gonna go through the next one while you're taking a drink. We will demo these. Okay, we're gonna do one exercise this time. Mm -hmm. It's a little more intense, we're gonna go 30 seconds on, 15 seconds rest, three rounds of it. So it's gonna be two hops, two lunges. Two hops, two lunges. You notice how I'm not getting really high? I'm keeping my butt quads engaged. Super low. A little yes. so of modification. Stand low. Okay, if you can't jump, if you can't do the lunges, just stick with a squat here, okay? I Maybe think I'm gonna, squat. Yep. I'm just gonna stick with a straight up pulse squat here, all right? So I'm not coming all the way up. We can really hone into our, where our muscles are working, okay? I'll get you on that. All right, it's time, three. Two, one, here we go. Two hops, two lunges. Two hops, two lunges. Get that knee down as far as you can. Mine are a little tender today, so I'm gonna be a little careful. Way to work here, way to work, pulse it out. We got it, 10 seconds. Push through, that core's engaged, shoulders are back. Rest! Woo! 15 off! Way this is go. where it gets hard. Get those legs burning. We're gonna kill your legs for a couple sets, then we're gonna kill your arms, then we're gonna kill your core. <laughs> and then you're gonna show us your guns. <laughs> okay, let's go. Here we go. There's 15. Two okay, hops. 16. Two lunges. We better go a second longer. <laughs> we better. We won't show you on the workout today. So my feet are wider than shoulder width apart, right? And they're also pointing at about 45 degrees, maybe a little more. It's nice with squats. Everyone's hips are a little different. So do what feels comfortable to you. I'm pulsing up and down. I'm really feeling those inner thighs burning in five seconds. And relax. Good. Relax. One more of those. Should we do two more? Yeah, we should do two more. Yeah. 
Yeah, we'll That's do really four. Terrible. That's not terrible. No. Again, if you can't, be right. safe. Go at your own level. If you can't get that four seven, go. Rest it out. Two hops, two lunges. Make sure that knee and toe turn together with that lunge. So we're not tweaking your knee at all. Knee stays all behind the toe on the lunge and on the squats. Yes. Chest is up, core is engaged. Where are we at, Alyssa? Get into those legs. Two, <laughs> one, rest. I'll keep an eye on her. I promise I had it. One more. One more. Let's really get them burning. Let's push yourselves. Okay, really, really, really push here. Hi, Jody. Got it. Cool. Jody's on. Cycle bar, Jody. Let's get it. Ready, set. Here we go. Two hops, two lunges. I'm getting deeper here. Let's go, sumo squatters. We're not tired. No way. It's a mindset. Right? Stay strong, yes. Tell us something you're grateful for. Remember, mine is the privilege to move my body. It's not a punishment, it's a privilege. Could be that you're grateful for surviving this long with your kids at home. Time! Woo, that's four. Water. Probably the most important thing you can do for your body. Yeah. Okay. Right? Grateful for health. Right? The ability to move our bodies. We want to treat our bodies really well. Okay. Like the temple that they are. Not much rest, only while we demo. Something a little bit similar here, we're gonna take that jump out. I like to put my hands down, I'm gonna touch. I'm gonna squeeze my butt at the top. Okay, we're gonna pinch at the top. So we're gonna squat, pinch, and we're gonna go into a lateral lunge. So your feet are wider. Squat, pinch, lateral lunge. Sweet. Right? You get that? It's a little confusing. I think you can handle it. Squat, lunge, squat, lunge. Okay, I'm not doing much different. Maybe just change that depth up yep. slightly. And again, rotate, turn those feet a little out if you need to. Everyone's slightly different. If lateral hurts, you can just pinch at the top for a little longer and just do a regular squat. If you need some assistance too, you can also go up against the wall, right? To yep. help keep that chest up. Yep. Work for your core a little bit there. We're gonna go to the right side first. All right, you're yeah. set. Let's go, Em. Let's go. Here we go. Squat, squat, squeeze. So these, you can't rush through these. Squeeze that glute at the top. Tell your body what you're engaging, okay? The gluteus maximus. <laughs> oh my gosh. The things she says. We're turning mush into muscle. <laughs> I wanted to say that. I know. She's got like a whole notebook of these things she needs to get out. Rest! <laughs> that one's not bad. That one feels good. Yeah. Get a little stretch with I think it. We're going to bump it up for this next one. Oh boy. I'm going to go lateral lunge, knee drive. Woo. Okay. Okay. Let's Second go. Set. Here we go. Squat, squeeze, lunge, drive. Squat, squeeze, lunge, dry. Training your mind, too. That mental sweat going along with it. Woo! Yeah, train your brain. I like that. I love that. You have to have your feet just a little wider so you can go into that lateral lunge. And rest. Sweet, that's two rounds down. I'm gonna do something a little different, just amp it up here. We're gonna go gate sink, knee drive, gate sink, Love it. knee drive. Okay? Like Kinda it. make it flow, you'll figure it out. Yup, I like it a lot. Okay, I'm still doing the same thing here. Ready, set, here we go. You know, we have another round. Push so yourself. Right? You're right. Push yourself. We're halfway. We got the little high mix. Feeling good on the legs. I can't so much. You hear someone? Did you hear someone? Did you say it upstairs? 
Yeah. And rest. Good okay, good rest. This time, for me, I like changing it up every time. We're gonna stay low. Okay, we're gonna go middle. We're gonna not come up very much in the middle. Okay? We're gonna rock back and forth. We're gonna Rather. do that too, okay? If you can, just stick with that single squat. Ready, set, here we go, last round. Even better, if you don't have to come up in the middle. If you do, that'd be a little modification, take a little bit of pressure off those legs. Control. Squeezing those feet together, pushing those feet apart. We're so last set here. Yeah. And we have five seconds. And rest. Woo. Oh boy. Okay. Push-ups. Push a lot of circuit. Let's okay. get it. So we're gonna go through five of them. Follow along. We're not gonna demo them all. That takes too long. Just follow. We'll yep. before each one. Um, we're gonna go through this two rounds of this five exercise circuit. Yeah. Let's get it. Okay. 30, 15, the first one is gonna be when your feet jump out. You go into a push-up. I'm just doing knees, right? Yep. Modification is go on your knees, keep those hands and elbows tight to your body. Yep. Okay. Again, if you have a collar top or something as well, if you don't want to go on your knees, you can go at an incline wall or anything like that. Ready, set, let's go, Abby. Let's go. Your arms will fail at some point during this circuit, okay? You might have to drop to your knees, you might have to take a break, okay? That's just how it is. We're going to fatigue. Yeah, go as hard as you can. Don't worry about the time. Okay, as hard as you can. We got 10 seconds there. 10 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Nice job. Okay, I'll show you the next one. It's gonna be push-up, shoulder tap, shoulder tap, push-up, shoulder tap, shoulder tap. I'm on my knees. Okay, why don't Still you do the taps? Still doing the taps, absolutely. Ready, set, and go. Trying to hold her body square to the ground, not twisting her hips. Push through, right? You can do it. You can do it. Tell yourself you can do it. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Good. 15 second breather. Yep. Now we're going to walk. Plank walks. We're going to step out with our same arm, same leg. Yes. One out to the left, one out to the right. I will show this view for that one. You're just going to see me move my body, okay? Or I'll move my upper body. My knees will stay the same. Ready, set, and go. Same arm, same leg. Body working together. 30 seconds on, 15 second rest. Here we go, here we go, I'm feeling it. Whoo, less than 10 seconds. Digging in here, three, two, one, rest. Okay, so we have two more push-ups. <laughs> Wow. You will get a good minute, maybe 30 seconds after we complete this round. Oh, yes. So wide push-ups. Hands are going to be really wide. I'm going to go off my knees for as long as I can. If I'm doing these right, I probably should have to drop to my knees before the 30 seconds is up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ready, Em? Ready. Set. Go. I got my knees a little wider for this one. My feet are wider. We're good, solid base. Let's work on that breath here, okay? Big exhale push up. Getting hard. Three, two, one, rest. Woo right. So stretch them out in that child pose. All right. Last one. Everyone's going to their knees. We're going four count down. Four count up. Oh boy. All right. Yes. Ready. I can't talk right now. Set. Elbows are staying tight. 
tight. And go. Four, three, two, one. Up. Four, three, two, one. Down. Four. At one, you should be hovering the floor. Two, one. Up. One, two, three, four. Halfway down. Three, two, one. Up. One, two, three, four. Down. Last one. Four, three, two, one. Up. One, two, three, four. Okay. Long break. By that, I mean like 30 seconds. Yep. Long for today. Now Good morning, are, Katie, okay. Lori, Chris. I'm dripping in sweat. I challenge you if you have an athlete at home, these aren't that easy of workouts. This would benefit them. Get them working. Yeah. We have one more round of those five. Got to only like 10 seconds here, okay? 10 seconds. Woo. Let's get after it. What are you grateful for? Yeah. Comment below. What are you grateful you for? Hi, Amanda. Okay, remember that first thing was those push-up jacks? Again, if, you, if you're if you failing, drop your knees, push out a few more push-ups. Like yeah. get, get, get that extra few reps. Yes, let's try it. I'll start up, okay? I can move my arms here. Ready, set, and go. Knees it is for me. <laughs> There we go, there we go. 10 seconds here, 10 seconds. And rest. Woo! Woo, okay. Those are harder to get lower on because your feet are going out. Now these next ones are the shoulder taps. Full range of motion. If you're only going this far, drop to your knees, get a little lower. Yep, absolutely. Ready, set, and here we go. Two, 
One down, four. I challenge three, you to keep your elbows two, tight to your body. One up, four. Three, two, one down, four. Three, two, one up, four. Three, two, one. Last one down, four. Three, two, one up, four. Three, two, one. Oh, rest. <laughs> Get up to lay rest. Okay, up. a good break here. I'm gonna check time. Hi, Lindsay. We're 41 minutes in. That's awesome. That's sweet. We should be at about 50 minutes by the time we're done. Yep. Maybe we'll go a little longer if anyone wants to comment on an exercise they really want to see. Yes. Sure, why not? Let us know what you're grateful for. I'm grateful for rest periods. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna show you these. Three. For sure the first one, maybe let's little chime in. So we're going to stay wide, our feet are going to be wide. We're going to jump them up and we're going to touch our same knee. So it'll be right hand, right knee, left hand, left knee. Little modification there. Dad was just going to show the modification. Bear crawl position, we'll just tap. Okay, like to bring that, yes. If we need to, you can drop down just to one knee there. Okay, I'll go through a couple and we'll alternate. Yep. With this bear curl, those knees are directly under your hips. That really activates your core, your quads. All of it, yes. The second one is going to be bicycle holds, right, Alyssa? Yep. So you're going to hold the crunch. Your leg's going to go out. Yep. So she, you always have one elbow touching a knee, okay? Never, ever is there a time when an elbow is not touching. And you're going to your knees. You're crunching to your knees. Your knees are not coming to you, okay? Modification, just kick that leg higher, okay? Lower to the ground, a little bit more of a challenge. Yeah. Higher, but let's keep that core engaged, okay? We're really holding in on that, those abs. Last one, trunk twists. Leg knee bend if you need. Also, what you can do is you can go here. This is a modification. This is harder, yeah. okay? Your abs have to kick in to control your legs from touching the ground. Yeah. Just get real close. Let's slow it down on those too, huh? Yep. Yeah. No rush. Casey is grateful for us. Thanks, Casey. We're grateful for you too. I, Sarah's grateful for bad knee modifications. Me too. That's awesome, guys. Keep them coming. Keep them Kay. coming. Why All right. Now? There's only 30 seconds on, 15 reps, three times through this entire circuit. Let's sizzle that core. <laughs> Ready? Set and go. So both knees are coming up. So just one side is touching and then you alternate. See how my butt is staying somewhat low? Tucking my hips under, engaging those abs. I am just getting wider with my knee, right? Think of a little fire hydrant. You need to drop to your knees. Let's still bring that knee to your elbow. We're almost there, five seconds. Three, two, one, relax for 15. Bicycle hold. Whew. I don't know if anyone else is feeling this, but man, do my arms feel jelly. <laughs> I love it. I like it a lot. Okay, we're going in three, two, one. Here we go, crunch up. I'm gonna show you getting those legs pretty low. Can you stay engaged when we're going through this dynamic pattern here?
power move after this, so don't get up. Woohoo! It's the last second of the day. Get sweated out this Saturday. Rest! Okay, the next one, lower resting. Hands on your butt with gullies. We're gonna do hollow body flutters. Uh, sink our corny just a little more today. I agree. If you can't do it, rest, that's okay. If you can't do it, hey, you can do a little bicycle here. If this is too long of a lever, that's totally fine. Ready, set, and go. So hands on the butt, my toes are pointed towards the wall, and pushing my back into the floor, looking at my belly button. The lower your legs are, the harder it is. Shoulders are off. Maybe I just didn't want to go back to that push-up position yet. <laughs> You'll never know. Ten seconds. Three, two, one, good. Fifteen, breather. Widen out those knee taps. Widen out knee taps. If you can't do the jump, you can do a slow mountain climber, elbow to knee. We're going to go. Okay. We we're finally getting some great goal comments. Everyone was a little bit <laughs> like to threaten you guys. <laughs> you did. Ready, set. Here we go. 30 seconds. So I'm in this bear crawl position, both knees off the ground. Still driving knee to elbow. I'm a big fan of when training your core to get a little bit off the ground every once in a while, right? These kind of movements, your core activates while controlling your body. Rest! Woo! That was hard too. But nice I did it. little crunch. Right? You got it. Woo! Woo! My hair is wild from this. <laughs> Oh, my core's on fire too. What a great Saturday. Okay, ready, set, go. Again, if you need to, just kick higher. You can almost just straighten that leg, right? Doubles as a little hamstring stretch. Another great thing to note is the leg that you're holding up, does it say? Keep those knees at 90 degrees. There we go. Okay, I got one down. Triple flex position. Three seconds. Triple flex. Rest. I like that. Maybe we should do a triple flex workout. Whew. One, two, two. Trunk twist. Three. Okay, I'll go knees bent. These are slowed down. Yep, slow okay. down, catch your breath. Slow them down. Ready, set. Oh, I already started. Oh, my bad. Whoops. <laughs> That's okay. A little extra never hurt. No, it didn't. I might have to do some extra now. It sounds windy out there. Yeah, it sounds really windy. <sighs> Hope How some of you guys got outside yesterday. It was really nice. Slightly windy, but pretty nice for this time of year. Yeah, the wind died down later in the day, too. Yep. <sighs> We're almost there here. And time. Remember, we put that power move in. This time, let's hold it. Instead of flutter, we're going to just do a hollow body hold. Sweet. Abby's going to show the arms over her head. <laughs> I am? <laughs> okay. She loves to do this. And go. Zip it up. Reach up your legs. My legs aren't quite as low now because then I feel my low back start to arch. So I'm really focusing on pushing that in. <sighs> right? What is your core doing? Imagine we got a balloon. It's pumped up, we're filled with air, and we're just barely letting the air out as we breathe, but we're staying tight here. Five, four, three, two, one, rest. Round two. Complete. I'm starting to feel like I can maybe be relaxed on this Saturday. You gotta be moving in this. We better do another round. Oh, of course. A little break. Not much, 15 seconds. Yup, not much. Pat Evelbold is on. Hey, Pat. Those were the good old days. Oh, this otter softball, baby. <laughs> Ready, set, let's go. Here we go. So this has got the modification. If not, follow along with me. I encourage you to try it. All right, let's try it. She can't resist. Five seconds. Do the modification if you need. And rest. I like it. Bicycle crunch hold. 
some power in. It's a good power move. I like that form move a lot. Work up to it, right? Something to work up so to. So power. We'll do this again at some point. Bicycle hold. Ready, set, and go. Remember, don't let that foot sag of the leg you're holding up. Crunch higher. Okay, think about what that core is doing filled with air all around your belly, three-dimensional. And we're just barely letting air out, right? We're letting a little air out. That pressure still stays. Look at that. We're almost there. Four. And rest. For those of you that have done block abs, those are similar without equipment. Maybe even harder. Strong twist. Strong twist. Not much rest. This is our last circuit, you guys. I'm gonna go stretch. Maybe not. We got it. We got it. Okay, ready, set, and go. For those of you with extra time, maybe this will take us through like two or three post-workout stretches. Absolutely. I know for me that's a downfall. I don't always take the time to do that after a run or a workout. Super important, right? We'll, we'll do it. We'll definitely get a stretch in. We got time today. We're almost there on the twist. And wraps 15 seconds. One Hold more body. Let's go back to those flutters, Alyssa. Okay. I like it. Flutters it is. If you're not sweating today, something's wrong. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to put my hands under my butt. I'm going to get my legs lower. Go! I'm going to look at my belly button. My shoulders are way off the ground. Tucking our hips under. Abby's going to tuck those hips under. 
Now the first thing she's going to do is left leg, okay? She's going to bend her left knee, bring it to her butt. Okay, now I want her to keep that tuck, right? Really big tuck in her hips, dog in trouble. If you still don't feel a stretch here, you got those bony parts on your hips, don't let them lift off the floor, right? So ab don't lift here or here, I'm not going to touch you. And now you can lift that foot up <clears throat> towards the ceiling if you need a little bit more of a stretch, right? Still keeping that squeeze. So oftentimes here, you'll feel a, maybe a cramp coming in your hamstring. Do you feel that a little, Abby? Slightly. Slightly. Okay, that's good. It's a good sign. That means the hamstring's working, firing up. Allows that other one to stretch. Let's take and come out of that. Relax. Let's go to the right side. So we're tucking hips under, dog in trouble, bending at the knee. Really bend that knee as far as you can. Okay, for me. Yep. Good job, Abby. Okay, if you're still not feeling much of a stretch here, still keep that bony parts. Be your hip on the floor, lift the foot up towards the ceiling. Okay, still keeping a squeeze with the heel to the butt, right? So hamstring is on. We'll hold here for a little longer. We're breathing, right? Thanking our body for pushing getting a good workout, and we can relax on that stretch. Awesome, okay, I think, Abby, do you have any more stretches you wanna go through? Let's just do one more for that little back, and for core. sure. Just come up here. I'm actually gonna Kinda to look up. Just feel good. If you can't do that, you can go from your elbows. Let everything relax, yeah. right? And we can come out of that and more just let's round our back now. So we're gonna drop down and round. Hold it for a second. Drop down and round. Okay, just a couple more. That feels really good on my little back. Put some space back in those facets. One more. Love it. Feels good. Under control. All right. Great job, Saturday Ooh. crew. Yeah. Can you tell us what you're thankful for. Tomorrow is a day off. It's Easter. If you want to get up and do one of our live videos, they're all on YouTube. They're all on our Facebook page. You can replay one. Otherwise, just relax. Take some time off. Enjoy your family. Hey, yeah. If you're if you're hopping on that YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button and share it. Yeah, that helps us, right? We want to help more people. That helps us grow as well, especially during this time. So we would really appreciate that. We're grateful for all of you as well. Yep, for uh, supporting so us, staying with Max Training. Um, again, remember, we can offer those in-home workouts, show us the equipment you have, or if you want suggestions of what you can get on a budget, we have a little bag we can send out with a little bit of home workout stuff. Yep. A Max Training gym bag that will be like a mini gym at your house. We can design a program for you, there's that option. Our six week virtual wellness challenge starts Monday. Alyssa and I are spearheading that. It'll just a little bit more in depth into healthy eating, healthy lifestyle, healthy mindset. Yep. So comment if you want info on any of that stuff. Yeah, stay tuned for, for more of that online stuff as well. We'll see you Monday. Thanks for working hard. Goodbye everyone.